Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I'm just going to talk about um, freeing up disk space on your editing program. So I use exclusively Final Cut Pro. It's the best editing program I've used and I just find it so easy to work with. But there are other alternatives such as Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, um, Avid Express, Sony Vegas and various other um, cheaper alternatives as well. What you'll find is these programs have a habit of saving um, your backup data and your rendered files to a separate file elsewhere on your computer. And it may be, may be frustrating to find it. Typically speaking though, if you're unable to locate it going into your applications on your computer, this is a, a Mac computer, but it'll be similar to for a PC as well. What you'll need to do is go into your user um, account on your computer go and look for a file called movies then look for a second file called final cut pro and then you will be able to find a um, group of library files which will be massive um, in this case on my computer as we can see here it says the disk macintosh hard drive is almost full please clear some space before continuing and then it says stop writing files because it's trying to render you see so in order to free up disk space it's quite simple you just look for the library that's in your computer um, under as I said under users your user um, information then look for mo a file called movies and then it'll be under another second file a sub file called Final Cut Pro and in there there will be a list of uh, libraries uh, that you can delete. So hopefully you can see that on your screen here. So we stop writing there. Um, we go into the Macintosh computer. Um, we we want to find the user information here. If we can make that a bit bigger. So what we're going to do is look under movies. There I have uh, Final Cut Pro backup files, and as you can see, there's a list of untitled libraries. Right, so in order to find and delete a massive library in Final Cut Pro, we need to click on our hard drive. We need to select our user account. Um, you don't need to go into the applications, just remember that, just go into the user account. As you can see there, um, we just bring up the movies file there and we can see that we have a very large um, Final Cut Pro file which is 777 gigabytes worth of data so all we need to do is drag that into our trash can click on our trash can and empty it as you can see here we've got that deleting at present because it's a massive file and this should delete all the backup data rendered files that you um, get saved on your Final Cut Pro application software so once that's done we'll be able to check our hard drive and see what the situation is with regards to how much space we've got left and hopefully that will clear out Final Cut Pro completely of um, a lot of data so we'll be able to um, start again in Final Cut Pro and create more projects so if we just bring our hard drive here uh, over, um, guess what? just click on our hard drive um, get info which should bring up the information for the hard drive now it says we have 669 gigabyte free worth of data storage so we can start again basically so if we go back to the main screen um, where I've deleted about 777 gigabyte worth of data as you can see there is more projects and rendered files here in other libraries again we can delete those and free up even more space so I just wanted to show you briefly how to get rid of um, libraries and old projects in order to um, free up some space. Um, obviously if you do wish to delete projects individually 
rather than go into the library and delete them. What you can do, you need to click on a project, um, move to trash. So we've deleted all the data in the libraries. If I just click on Final Cut Pro, this should give us a fresh start and uh, it should say create a new project. So let's just click on it, it'll load. It should be a lot quicker because you don't have to load all your rendered files and projects. As you can see, it says there, um, create a new project, which means it's ready to go to start again and create more new uh, Final Cut Pro projects. I hope you found this useful in order to uh, free up some disk space on your computer and I'll see you in the next one.